Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really excited about the future of things and stuff. Now we were going to make, you know what, I think we should probably, oh is this still the issues we were having with the darn planetary shields? Yeah. Right. Not great. Not great. Um... Well, dark fog cluster, Gamma Crateris 4. I feel like I'm going to have to bring more of these guys. Too close to another wind mine. Yeah, that's where the grids are. Going unhappy here. Yeah, I should be doing them sideways and not the other way around. Okay, um... I guess we probably should set up these planetary shields on the other planets as well. Um... <laughs> looking at the energy consumption of these things, I'm just wondering if, like, you know, maybe they're never going to have enough energy to ship off the planet because this is this takes a wild amount of energy. Um, now we were trying to get these guns working. Did we buy any guns? I think we set them up in the mall. Did we set them up? I don't remember. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right. Well, let's find out. Let's figure that out. That's needed. It's been a couple days since I played. Uh, I've been really, really sick and like, oh my god, it's been bad. Just bad. Sick and injured and antibiotics, which makes me even more sick. So it's like hell on a stick. But I'm going to try not to complain um, too much. I just want to let you know the state of the Catherine, right? Oh, we have plenty of fractionators. That's excellent. We have, we could probably do a set of 40. Do we have more? Hello? Are you fractionators? No, those are shield generators. I don't want more of those. Definitely don't need more of those. Holy crap. All right, let's shove those back in there. Um, now, these? Here we go, fractionators. Excellent. How many of those do I have? They look very similar to the planetary shield generators. Are these fractionators? No, those are fractionators. All right, let's do... Oh, we almost have enough. All right, let's come back down. Let's set up the, uh, the thingies up here first. Whoopsies, that's not the right way. Here we go. All right, it looks like I definitely just need to. Uh. Okay, easy way to fix, upgrade. I really wish it would ignore like the state of the inserter, the, the quality of the inserter, you know? That would be so nice. All right, and now power. Okay, there we go. We now have a sort of electricity. No, we don't. Okay, there we go. So, who's shooting now? So it looks like these these middle ones are shooting. The ones in direct sunlight are shooting. <laughs> and the others are not. Kind of makes me wish we had a tidally locked planet here. But we have plenty of solar sails. That is not the issue at all. 
So let's see, let's make this happen here. Oopsies. I didn't look at that properly. So we'll have an almost circle here. There we go, that's nice and neat. We'll grab one of these. Oh, lack of item. Ha! We apparently had exactly enough for uh, <laughs> for the other one. I think we only need something like three or four. Let's see how many. All right, let's see. Now we were gonna stop by and grab some fractionators. So let's get some of those, yay. So how many is that? 30, 30, 30, and 14. I forgot how many is ideal. Mm. Let's put down 30 and 30. Maybe 15 and 15. Or thir like, let's do 30 at a time in a loop. I think that might be good. Let's see, what is this? No. Uh, none? Hello? What are you guys not making? Why are you not making? You're lacking chips. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well I'll eat the chips from the end of the belt and we'll be fine. At least I gotta have some nice belt storage here. That's pretty candy. Here, take these. Yeah, none of this stuff is painted. That's annoying. Well, I did not design this mall for painting, that's for sure. But um, I think I want to redesign the mall at some point. I will probably do that off camera, though. We do have this annoyance of all these bases and whatnot as well. So that's a bit uh, hairy, to say the least. Let's see, we probably need, what, three? Let's go for four, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's see if any of these wants my other stuff. Here, guys, here. Take all of my things, my ringy dingies. Mm -hmm. All them things. Oh no. Okay, we're really short of um, yellow ch or orange chips. I think I need to make those and import them. I think orange chips are one of those things you're gonna need a million of. So that is something I wanna make. Okay, let's go off into the wilderness again. The wilderness of the sun well. Yes. The sun well. Okay. Oh, we picked up a wrong inserter. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, I, th I think that's okay. I think that's fine. I don't think we need more than that. Okay, so there we are. We now have... The ability to shoot supposedly all day long, but not actually. You guys, c oh, this may not be connected. Okay, that that would help if I connected them. Okay, now these guys are gonna shoot. There we go. So now I think we can shoot 24 hours a day. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I think I bec because I just ran out of shooty things. Um, and that would have been the problem. Anyway, these guys are... Um, yeah, we are requesting... Huh. It's showing that we have... I'm very confused by this. Are they all requesting 11? Ah, it's because it can only supply 99. 
And there are nine towers. Two, four, six, eight. There are eight towers. Um, it's close enough. Anyway, it can only supply 90 right now. And we're demanding 192, which is, seems a bit unfair. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a word for it. Hmm. All right, how do you make a an orange chip? Let's look at this real quick, because I feel like that could help us in the future. Oh, it's just um, silicon and other thingy things. That seems easy. How about these things? How are they made? Silicon. Okay, so those are two iron, one copper. Okay, and then the blue chips. Two thingy, one copper. So two silicon, two copper, one iron, right? No. No, two, two, two. It's two, two, two. And these are, let's see. Two seconds to make one, one second to make two. Perfect. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yes, yes, just amazing. Um, so let's make a thing. Let's go to... Hmm, let's see, let me look at our planetary uh, thingity thingities. Here we go. So this place, they don't have much copper. Let's not do that there. Let's do that on the inner planet instead. So let's go here, because there's tons of copper there. Yeah, 21 million copper and a whole bunch of silicon. So that's probably the most perfect place to make these things in general. All right, let's see how far is this going to be. Two minutes. Uh, I think it'll be a bit faster than that. Just a tiny bit. Nice. Let's see. I do have more hydrogen fuel cells. Let's just add those to our thingy. Good, good. So that should get us there faster. But yeah, the hydrogen fuel cells uh, charge so much faster than the, um, the graphite. Very, very important to realize that that's kind of the point of using them. The better ones are the green, which I should have actually started the green stuff first. Eh, it's okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find silicon because I don't think we've actually tapped silicon on this planet. Here's some. There's some right there. Is there more like too close together by any chance? No, you say? There are, there are two thingies on this planet. I know there are two. There's the other one. Okay. Um... This is actually a good building space over here, I think. So let's just go here and we'll put it in a tower and we'll take it out of the tower as well. Um, okay, I'm not gonna fuss with the sideways mining thing or the twisty turnies, because it just takes forever. It's better to just put in these guys, and it gets enough, right? And especially having this many miners, like eight on a patch, that's super nice, really super nice. So um, we'll put in a tower, big tower, just in case we need it. Which we probably won't, but yeah, you never can tell. No, there we go. That's better. Okay, so let's connect these guys up to this one. Collide with other object. No, don't don't collide with other object, please. Stop. Please. Don't collide. Oh my god 
being a pain in the socks. Oh, I forgot to add, there's a mod that apparently lets you have, like, better lighting at night. Um, especially for YouTube land. Um, I know that's kind of a, a thing. That looks so stupid, but you know what? It works. It does, in fact, work. So, let's see. Can I put down... Do I have any more power poles? Yes, I do. Excellent. These are so good for just filling in gaps and using as power poles because they do... You can actually do this kind of thing. You can drag them as opposed to not being able to drag them, which is the case most of the time. Okay, so we're going to put the silicon into the tower. Um, mm -hmm. And then, oh, whoops, I want to add ships. I always like to add the maximum amount of large ships and then like, I don't know, 20 small ships or something. Okay, so let's see. We have, let me look at this map real quick. Just looking at the space we have. I think it's enough space. Sure, why not? So let's make a line of smelting going in here. I'm going to do the uh, let's see up here. Okay, that's good. Oh, one thing I hadn't thought about. I saw someone do this. This is pretty cool. Oh, no, we can't put in this. No, I forgot them. Oh, no, no, no. They're still back at the base. Sad times. All right, well, it's fine. It'll be fine. So, um, I'm going to do the painting here. We're going to set up a fair number of these painters as well. Like that. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to get our. Let's see, one, two, three. I actually want this to go the other way. I really want this to go the other way. Yeah, this is the wrong way. Okay, no worries. Let's see, this can just be reversed, I think. Um, oh no, it can't. No, it cannot. Okay. This needs to be reversed. There we go. So I guess I can take this all the way down here if I want to. Something like here. But yeah, we definitely want to um, we want to paint all this stuff. Okay, and then the next line Okay, so one, two, three. This one comes out here, right? One, two, three. Yes. Okay, and then we have the next line is going to be iron. Mm -hmm. That's going to get painted here too. Technically, this can be shortened, I think. Can it? No, it cannot. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and then this one. One, two, three. And goes this way. 
This may have to be raised or something at the end there. I'm not sure. And then we have another one coming in, and this is going to be the copper. Copper. Right. Um. All right, nice. So then let's find the paint. Hello, paint, where are you? Hello. Hello. So there is paint coming into this tower, but is there paint in a box? Here, anywhere, somewhere. Well, if there's not, I'll just put it in a box, because that's fine. Do I care about splitting it off? Mm, maybe. Mm, maybe, maybe. Okay, let's see if we can put in a splitter. I wonder if I can do it without... Uh, let's see. No. No, 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 no. Why, why would they make it that convenient? That would be silly. Absolutely silly. Um, <laughs> no, no. I mean, why not? It's so much easier just to have this convenience of life thing. Uh, splitter. Tab, tab. Okay. There are some things in this game that are just totally... Like, why? Why you do this? I mean, there's so much opportunity for making it better, and then it isn't better. I don't get it. I don't really understand that. Okay, let's go down here. The reason for this is I might want to put a tower right in here, so I don't really want this to go that far. Okay, there we go. Nice. And these are going to be sprayed, and let's get rid of this piece, and then grab a tower. Wait, does this tower... This tower... Oh, it's empty, just about. Okay. Let's ask for iron and copper. Um, local demand. Sure. There we go. Well, there's stone over here too. Look at that. Actually, I should I should put the rest of this into this tower. This copper. It's not even fully mined. Whoa. Man, who built this factory? Okay, let's grab this. No, I want this, please. What are you doing, thing? Being naughty. Okay. All right, and then huh. I want this to be a both demand and supply here, but I think we can change that later if we find some issues with that. I haven't even looked at the wind coefficient on this planet. Probably should before I put all these wind mines down. Uh, okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So... Anyway... Anyway, um, let's take these um, minerals out of here. Okay, there we go. Uh, ah, right. We need to paint them on the outgoing as well. Of course we do. Yes. 
No, come on. I just want to... Oh, this thing. Why does it never let me select them or rarely let me select them? What is going on with that? I do not understand this. All right, now we get this one, one, two, three, and this way. Okay, so this is our return on the copper. And we need another one of painters, yes. Okay, so this is a very good start to what we have here. Okay, very nice. Okay, um, now, hmm. Now we need to calculate. So if these guys, if these belts are completely full, um, they take 12 items per second. Now, the mm, smelters, smelters, they are here. Okay. They are, I don't know how fast they are. <laughs> I don't know how fast they are. Um, do these tell us? Here's, here's, these at the end are functioning. So these are 72 per minute. Okay, or how many per minute now? They would be, I think, no, I don't want speed up. Oh my God, you can't read any of this. I think it would be 60 per minute. So one per second. So on this line, we'd need 12 of them in that case, which is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Of course, because the devs have not provided this, we can't see what directions the arrow's in. However, they work. Uh, let's do this. Make sure that it's silicon. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Let's measure before we overbuild our belts here. Three. One, two... These are some weird spacings, dude, why? I think every this many, let's see, that's three, six, nine, twelve is here. Okay. All right, cool. And this will give us room for power poles between each uh, group. end as well. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do the iron and copper now. Go, copper. All right, good. Okay. It's basically one tab. If I can press tab instead of Q. Okay, that's better. Mm hmm. So it looks like the power poles cover the second row uh, entirely. But we'll add some, actually we'll put them on the bottom of this third row here. Since it didn't hit that one anyway, I'll just put a, uh, another power pole there. Okay, looking fabulous. Wow, that's fantastic. Looking absolutely great. So, firstly, we need to split the the uh, copper. Um, so copper needs to be split, but iron and and uh, I iron and silicon do not. Sorry, my brain is not working very well. I hope you'll forgive me. I'm just like I know what I want to say, but the words ain't coming out right. So, all right, so you go in here. 
Now these are getting painted on the way out, so we don't have to worry too much about that. But I want to start with going like... Or... Or... Do I just make this really compact and do something like this? Probably. That's probably better. Because I do want to put the inputs on one side and the output on the other, potentially. Collide? It's not collide. Stop telling me it's collide. Eh. Can I do that there, maybe? Hmm. That might be the option, really, is to put it there. Yeah, like that. Okay, so there we go. And then the rest of this is going to go elsewhere. But I want to do the uh, thingy thingies first. I know that thingy thingy is a very broad description, but don't worry, we'll get it eventually. Uh, huh. That is not an ideal thingy at all. Um, why this got be so hard? Let's see if I can sneak it in here. Can I do that? Can I do this? Please? Yeah! Excellent. Okay. It's pretty tight. There, pretty tight. Okay. Um, cop and iron here. Okay. So these are going to take two thingies each. Um, two thingies of iron, right? So I think they're made one per second. We're going to base these on these green chips, right? So, uh, yeah, so you can make two in one second. So what we'll do is based on how much iron we're producing, which is 12 per second. We need to divide that in half because it needs two. So we need six machines for this then. All right, you're going to make you make this, please. And output he, he, ver, ver, ver. There we go. Okay, so let's get all these guys organized. And then, of course, these guys get up, get painted as well. Of course, the painter refuses to select. Perfect. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. It looks really tight. I don't know if I can squeeze power poles in between here. No, we can. Nice. Okay. Okay. Very good. And then... The next items are going to be uh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, obviously the blue chips are next. Now I'd like to take these guys out of this box up second story. T then go down one. And we're going to need a fair number of these uh, blue chip makers. Fair number. Uh, because they are extra naughty. Well, I don't know if that's a technical term or not. But... Let's see. Can I hop see over this one? Oh, also, I didn't just make up the word hopsy. I used to use that with my cat. She had this way of, like, hopping down. Uh, where was she hopsying? 
I think it was down the stairs or something where it was just such a delicate light bounce that she would do and it was just so cute and I thought wow that's that's where Hopsy comes from okay let's go up so we don't block this entryway here that might be traversable we have to see or we just go backward a bit and that'll be fine as well okay So, the next item is, is a bit annoying because it makes half of the items in twice the time, I believe, right? Micro crystalline components. Very annoying. Yes. So, two seconds to only make one of them. So, we need four times the assemblers for this thing. It's a bit crazy. But that is the way it is. One, two, three, four... Okay, and those come out there. Mm hmm It is uh, an interesting recipe for sure. And unfortunately, we're coming up on the, the grid line here. That's extra uh, delightful. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe I should have them go the other way and just go within the same grid space. I think that's a better idea because I think that'll give a lot more flexibility even if it kind of messes up our painting scheme. We can always move the paint elsewhere, right? We can always move it around. Okay, so we're gonna reverse this belt. Mm -hmm. And you are gonna reverse as well, thank you. So we'll do like a, I don't know. I think that's at this level one. Okay. Yep, there we go. take this one this way for now on the ground there we go so now now we're gonna do this <laughs> very actually you know what maybe I should incorporate this tower into the build as well I mean you might as well right you might as well and then that way we can have these belts going because we're going to need many of these machines. We need Okay, so if we have six here, then we need <laughs> 24 machines. That seems like an awful lot, but uh, that's what our math says, so might as well do what the math says. No sense in doing otherwise. Okay, um, let's see. We need to have this going this way. And this going this way. Oh, and the tower's in the wrong spot. No. Oh, sadness. Well, it's okay. We'll have less sadness. Don't worry. I, I can fix sadness. This is not a problem. We fix sadness day and night. It is fine. Because we only have one space for a return belt here, as you see. Um, so I think we're going to have the copper come in here. Let's take those off. Trim these back a bit. There we go. But question mark, do we have enough space? Yes, we do. I think that cheated. I think you need more than s more space than that, but it gave it to us anyway for whatever weird reason. Not really sure why that is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right, but sometimes the game just inexplicably works with you. Sometimes it does not, but sometimes it does. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, yeah, there we go. <coughs> At least with me taking massive do uh, doses of antibiotics for my wounds, <coughs> I'm in <coughs> no danger of catching pneumonia. 
Hmm, pardon me. I forgot where, where my mute key is again. I'm not very good at remembering that. Ooh. It might be the page down key. Maybe it's that one. I think it might be, actually. Okay. Anyway, let's go off here and um, start putting in these new uh, blue circuit machines. Let's set those up. Blue. Hello. There you are. See, I should learn better. I should learn to start at the top of the, the zone and you know, at those breakpoint lines, yeah. It doesn't matter, it's fine. We can always redo it. Let's see, this is how many? I always forget how many you can make this way. 15, it says, okay. I'm glad it says 15. Makes it easier. And then, click to build four. Okay, so that is night. 19 we want to extend the belt lines because yeah because we do so that's 19 20 21 22 23 24 and dang am i good at counting ha excellent all right i want to add power lines here power poles in between what's really nice is you can always count these quite uh, well, oh no, new problems, oh dang, okay, well, it looks like we have new problems, so these are apparently too tight, even though these ones up here were not too tight, these are too tight for power poles, oh great, all right, well, in any case, you can usually, if you, if you are able to fit them, they will cover four machines, you usually try to put them between four machines. Let's see if this works if I do this. Yep, that works. Good, good. Somehow these are magically covered by these power poles, which is great. No, not here? No, of course not. Why would we be able to do that? That would be silly. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So, this is looking really fabulous. Now, the question is, how long does it take to make a processor thingy? Um, it takes three seconds and it requires two of each of those. Okay, so the question is that we need to answer, how many are we making? How many are we making? That's the, the best question here. Um, we need to figure out, we, we based everything off of green chips. We are making two of each of these every second. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve per second. And then twelve of these per second. Um, and in three seconds, we make thirty-six. So we divide that by 2, which is 18. So that says 18 machines to me. I hope I'm doing the math right. I'm doing it in my head. I'm not looking at the calculator. Um, so 18. That's a lot of machines. So I'm wondering if I should just split it up um, to fit in this area here. Make it a little bit compact. Um... Let's see, we could go on the divisor line to get the processors back into the, uh, the thing. Oh, excuse me. Game. Why? Okay, let's just do this. And... Okay, solar sail life two, excellent. Okay, let's get our processors here. They're gonna be a supply for everywhere because this is the place where we make the orange chips. But yeah, in the interest of making this more compact, I think what I'll do 
is just... Wait, what's going on here? Okay, there it is. That was weird. Um, I think I might do like two lines of nine instead of one line of 18, because that would be a bit weird. Mm. So, the way that it's easiest to do that, I feel, is to take um, output lines uh, going this way. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, I have ideas. No worries. It's fine. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll fix that. Don't worry. Um, output lines from here. And then one, two, three. And then the input lines are just going to be straight up um, put in here. Not that one. This one. Uh, input lines are going to go straight through the... Okay, we have to fix that anyway. This one has to go here. Well, I should have just moved that one that way. Alright, let's see what we got here. That one, yep, that's covered now. This one is not covered, however. That's not great. Put that one in. All right. So then the new problem, of course, is going to be painting. Let's fix that. Measure it where you can do it easily. So painting is going to come in here. Okay. I'm going to sneak a belt through here like that. Mhm. Mm 1 2 3 4 5 This is another thing I don't understand. Sometimes when you draw a belt, it finishes drawing the belt, or it, it like, f you know, you, uh, it, it stops the connection. And then sometimes it just doesn't. And it's like, huh, why? Well, you know, what, what changes? Why does sometimes it work, sometimes not? I don't really get it. Okay, there we go. This is very sneaky. Um. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Oh, we added a bit too much. That's okay, though. Oh, this is supposed to be that. Okay, never mind. Mm, never mind. Like here. Here we want to connect it. Yes, perfect. Uh huh. All right, so now let's get our machines up. these. You know, orange chips are surprisingly easy to make. I think it's just because of the huge reliance on blue chips, it can be kind of a pain when it's just made in the mall. Oh my god, we have almost no power poles left. That's not great. Can I make some? Uh, hello? Yes. I can make 20. Jeez, how did I not shop for those before I left? Okay. It's okay, we have enough for now. Okay.
All right, processors are a making. Excellent. Okay, so this is basically belt based, this whole thing. Okay, so this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. One short, one short. And nine. Okay, fantastic. All right, this is just what we wanted. Okay, and I know it looks strange, but we're painting this over there. All right, fantastic. This is pretty great. So let's just make this fairly, uh, there we go. Yep. Now we have all the things and stuff flowing. Make sure this gets painted and it ain't because no power poles. Oh no. Let's put one there. Cool. Now we're getting painted. Excellent. I'm very pleased about this. Very, very good. Okay, now we have an unstoppable amount of chips. Well, not unstoppable, but it's close. And this is basically based on the belt speed of how fast we can process these ores with our current belt speed and how many furnaces that can feed uh, for one. It's kind of like cooking, one recipe, right? This is like the maximum you can do with the current supply of goods. So it does look like it's flowing perfectly. Look at the number of chips that are happening here. These belts are synchronized. Check that out. Oh, that's beautiful. See, good calculations never go to waste. Okay, cool. So how much more time do we have? We have zero more time. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so good at like, uh, yeah. We did something in this episode, technically, right? We did. All right, let me drop off some of these items. Um, so yeah, but we still want to go back to our, um, we we'll go back to our main factory and do, what were we going to do there? I don't even remember. Um, we were, oh, fractionators. Yeah, we need to get those fractionators set up. I really should have done that first, but that's okay. Anyway, I will meet you back on the home world in the next episode because that's going to be fun. But yeah, now we have a, a sort of encapsulated design in a single um, latitude zone uh, that can, you know what? Let's copy this and make it into a blueprint. Let's take this. Let's see, we probably need the paint. Let's see, I, we don't really need, okay, the paint is there. We do not really need, oh, you know what we should do? Let's, let's do one thing here. Let me write down this paint. Oh, there are so many items. Okay, paint. And then I will write down, let's see, this one is going to be silicon ore. And after these, you really don't need to write any of it down. Okay, this is, yep. Iron ore. Iron. Iron. Or iron, depending on your accent. Okay, let's copy... Everything is working, no flashies. It's hard to see because all the sorters are flashing. Okay, it's fine though. We'll take this, take this from here and then take up there, including that splitter box. Take these. Yeah, there we go. So let's take off 
some of this stuff. Can I take this off? No. No. Bad. Oh, God. I think what I'm going to have to do is... Let's see. Call this... Um, let's see. Processors. Processors. Um, one green belt. Uh, input. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, no. Because I painted everything, we're actually getting more, 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 more of stuff. Oh, no. Um, we actually need to add more to this. <laughs> no. No. I don't want to, I don't want to calculate that right now. Um, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. It's already made for our factory. The factory is not complaining. I haven't seen any complaints whatsoever. So, yeah. Okay, we we'll want to save this blueprint. And we'll fix it later, I think. We'll fix it later. To be more, well, using, basically just using what we're making. Because uh, we can be getting 20% more processors. That's a lot. Now, um, I'll plot a course to the next area. and But for now, I will leave you and say thank you so very much for joining me. And if you would love to support my work, do please check out the Patreon link or become a member of the channel or a, a subscriber on Twitch, etc. Um, really, really appreciate your support. I can't tell you how much that means to me. And I'm recording this on Christmas. So have a happy Christmas, or I hope you've had a happy Christmas. I'm a tiny bit ahead in recording, as you might have noticed. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.